But you know what wasn't disappointing to either of us, Rachel? Was our favorite companies overall. Mm -hmm. And of course, Rachel, you have gone with? I went with Sony um, because they've got some pretty big titles coming out underneath their wing, like Beyond and Last of Us, and God of War. Not to mention also the PlayStation All-Stars, which a lot of people seem to be really interested in. I'm not so much interested in it. I'm very, very bothered about seeing a big daddy jump around and do ninja flips to the air. That really, really bothers me. Um, but I think Sony has probably got one of the biggest um, game pushes. Bundles. They have yeah, the biggest of new lineup. Games coming out. They're, I think Sony is, is the leader in that. See, for me, I think the leader in the biggest titles and the biggest lineup was Ubisoft. I think Ubisoft owned this E3. Like they had the best, I think out of all the press conferences, which honestly they're all boring, Ubisoft's was the least boring out of all of them. Watch Dogs was an actual game that was actually announced at E3. Mm -hmm. uh, every game that I saw at their booth is something that I want to play pretty much. Really, honestly, it was just the Just Dance series that did it for me. <laughs> no. I'm kidding. No, I mean. No, but I know you like Just Dance, so I, I totally love, believe I you. Love, I have if the you dance and the rhythm is inside me. <laughs> Uh, no, but I mean, Assassin's Creed 3, mm -hmm. Far Cry 3, Watch Dogs, mm -hmm. Zombie U, mm -hmm. Rayman Legends. Uh, oh, I'm interested in Rayman. oh, God, the last but Rayman I like all was the other so ones good. You mentioned. Yeah, uh, God, I feel, like, I feel like I'm missing stuff still. Like, Ubisoft had a great show, and they have a lot of cool games that I'm definitely going to want to check out. So, way to go, Ubisoft, for impressing me because I'm a cynical bastard.